my name is Brian McManus. I'm from Scotland originally, and I've been living in Fresno the past seven years, just fishing, tying flies, retired and loving it. I've been invited to tie a few shows, and this is the, the cream of the year. So I'm tying patterns basically that I've caught fish on in and around West Yellowstone. Uh, there's a pattern I'm going to show you which is extremely simple to tie and it will catch fish almost anywhere. I've used it all over Europe and it does work. I've used it all over the States so far and it's worked. The hook I'm using is the equivalent of a B160 Camasan. It's a short shank, a wide gate. And it, it keels well and balances well. Start off with black thread and a little bit back from the eye. That allows you to tie your, your silk up and back and leave room for the, the, the hackle. You want a short body, notice it's touching turns. All together, touching each one. Believe it or not, that's your body. Nice and simple. You get a piece of pearl lurex. Tie it in on the top, two turns, fold that back, nip it down, and there you are. That's your two turns. You just want this lurex to add a tiny wee bit of shine, nothing much. Next is a, a hackle, a standard black hackle. Prepare it the way I just have, tip, butt, and now tie it in. That's enough to hold it. With your hackle pliers, just turn it round three turns, one, two and it slips just when you want it to again one two and three now tie it out and break off pull your fibers forward and now we're finished I'm afraid I don't use tools too often because with the time you take a whip finish tool up, I've finished. And that, believe it or not, is it. It's a very simple fly to tie and a very effective fly. It's like little wing buds, these wee bits of lurex. They do something, I don't know what, but they do something. Push that across and down, you're laughing. Thank you very much.